Welcome to Pop Dust Presents. We are here with Bad Sons. Being Bad Sons, what did you do for your Mothers on Mother Day? We had just finished our tour the night before we played the Will Turn, mm-hmm. and then the next day I went over to my mother's house and we had a nice brunch. So you're not such Flowers, a bad son a after all. You have to clarify it's a you. It is a you. And every bad Uber drive you're like, uh, like the sun in the sky. Okay. That's the go-to line. Like the sun in the sky. As opposed to, okay, okay, that makes sense. My next question is, did you all plan this uh, monochrome color scheme or did it just happen? Yeah, I sent a text at the beginning of every day, like, all right, it's, it's Thursday, we're doing black today. It's Friday, like we're doing pink. I didn't Sometimes get the memo. Shake it up. Yeah, you, you went navy blue, but I you stayed rebelled. within you stayed within the realm. And are they kicked out of the band if they, like, if they you know, go outside the, the lines? It's more humiliating than that. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He cracks a, a tough whip. Is Somebody what. has to. A lot of Some, suitcases on the road, huh? A lot of suitcases. Mm-hmm. Tons of suitcases. So you just finished tour. We did. How was it? It was excellent. It, yeah, this was probably the, the most fun we've ever had on tour. Uh, we've ever. been off the ro- Yeah, seriously. We've been off the road for a good year and a half, almost two years. Uh, we were making a record at home. It's out now, and we hit the road. We're playing, you know, bigger bigger clubs and theaters than we had ever done, and it was uh, very surreal and yeah. very special, yeah. We had okay. a bus with a slide-out for the first time. I don't know what you mean by a slide-out. So, ex- so like, much more uh, room for activities. Yeah. <laughs> so much more room for activities. Wow. And how did you use... So a slide-out, does that mean the sides kind of... Yes. Yeah. Expanded. You got it. In the front lounge. And so did you guys like wrestle? How did you use that extra space? Miles, I we, want you particularly to answer. We had... Uh, a really physical uh, Nerf gun mm. fight. Yeah, one night. That's true. I mean, like, yeah, I'm talking flips, mm. spins, wow. dodging, slow mo. Like, was there slow mo? Yeah. yeah, it was you like straight out of John Wick. Out. Oh, <laughs> straight out of John. Could you show the people your profile so that they can see how much you look like Keanu Reeves from the side? <laughs> like and subscribe. Am I right? Screenshot. Um, I'll show you my, mo- uh, my 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 MySpace profile. Your MySpace. <laughs> oh, I see the joke. It was. Huh. Um, Medium to bad. <laughs> Thank you. Were there any injuries from the Nerf gun fight? Miles got all fucked up. A bruised hip. <laughs> a bruised hip? Yeah. That's like an old lady falling down the stairs <laughs> injury. <laughs> I mean, it was wild. Okay. Yeah. Be yourself, Miles. We're all here for it. New album. Yes. New album. And we were just right before this looking up the art that inspired the album, supposedly. Oh, you were? Yeah. Tell me about that. It was, yeah, it was from the World Fair um, when the Edison Radio was introduced, and this this promo picture for it at the World's Fair just for whatever reason was always kind of captivating to us, and it looked like the arrival of a new sound to the planet. And so I think that idea was always sort of inspiring to us. And with this record, it felt like the appropriate time to kind of revisit the idea and yeah. put ourselves on the cover for once. And it turned out even better than we could have expected. So then how is this album different? Because it, it does have a decidedly different sound. Was that intentional? Did it just happen? I think it was both. I think it was intentional in the sense that we we weren't we definitely weren't going to try it and put effort into repeating ourselves the things we had done in the past. And at the same time, we wanted to welcome growth and just sure. overall ex- expansion of things that we had done. And so when did this all start? Wait, I know you guys have known each other a long time, right? It's uh, how many how many years? What year are we on in terms of Bad Sons as a band? As a band? Six years? Seven years? Seven years, but I mean, it goes back. Friends. For, like, we met in seventh grade in the first day, seventh grade, like, 2006. Yeah, I walked so. up to him and said, hey, do you have a MySpace? Is that, the, is that true? Yes. Yeah, first words. Wow. So. And did he? He did, yeah. I already knew that, too. Miles and I met 10 years ago. Okay. Like, exactly, like, right around this time. And then we've all just been playing in bands, like, in the same circuit in the valley outside of, or inside Los Angeles. And that's how we knew Ray. And then eventually we all ended up in one band together. I was going to say, you seem to be left out of this story. How did you get involved? Um, I hit up Chris on MySpace and was like... It was Facebook, actually. <laughs> it was a few years later. I messaged Chris on Facebook and said... I look like Keanu Reeves. Would you like me to join your band? I was like, you kick my dog. And I knew they needed a guitarist, and yeah. it just so happens I play guitar. Oh, my God. So That's a crazy coincidence. Yeah. It's like the universe speaking. Well, and yeah. it sounds cheesy, but the first rehearsal when the four of us all played together, it totally was like, it was like when you put on like a leather jacket that fits perfectly. Yeah. Just that bizarre feeling that like never happens. It was like that. So we just stuck together. That's such a good metaphor. And so then what now? What do you guys, so you just finished touring. 
you have an album out. Are you just going to rest on the laurels of your victory or <laughs> what now? No, I think we're kind of, uh, we're just anxious to get back to working on new music. Okay. It's sort of where we're at. So we've just been. You don't have to lie. Like, is that the case or are you excited no, it, to it take is. naps? Like, if you just want to take naps, like, you can tell me. We, I mean, we got home from tour and got on a plane here as soon as we could afterwards. So we're just. What we know is to... that Miles wants a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give Miles a few days of sleep. Okay. And then we're going to get right back into it and just kind of, uh, yeah, a tour is sort of a, like, it's like a harvesting of new inspiration and being on the road and playing these songs that we had kind of had in our back pocket, just that only we had been able to listen to after the record had been done for the past couple of months. That's kind of the craziest and worst time, I think, Yeah, is when it's all done, but no one can hear it yet. Mm. And I think you start, you can kind of drive yourself crazy. And at the same time, for whatever reason, I sort of find it hard to move on from that body of work until it's been actually released yeah and it's like out there and it's like all right now at this point it's like we're just ready to continue moving forward great amazing so here's a question that i have you seem like for men who have tattoos is that the case yes tell me about them i have a lyric by the strokes i don't want to change the world i just want to watch it go by that and checks i out. saw the strokes like three days ago. Oh fuck! They didn't play this that song it's from Under Control. That's selfish. You think they would have? And I was like, Under Control. <laughs> and they did like, it. Ah, da, 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 da. So is it just those two? Do you have a worse tattoo? Uh, I have like a little demon on my leg. That's what's um, he up to? <laughs> uh, he's doing the horns. <laughs> that's, okay, so I like that one. <laughs> I, like, I like that. He's just like. It's very, it's is like he like hook him horns? Figure. Like, is he like a Texas fan or no? No, no, no. It's like. Oh, okay, I see. Rock and roll. Okay, rock and roll. Rock and roll. It's my first band. So, what's your worst tattoo? I only have two. Tell me both. This one is an adaptation of a. It's a snake with arrows through it. It's it an is. adaptation of a French emblem, which means force that cannot be overcome by force. And I got that for my family. Okay. And then I have. I don't know if you can really see these, but I have a tarot card of the sun on my back. Is or my the back of my arm is just sort of a reference to. My uh, my mom's side of the family, they're from Romania, and they've always been very superstitious and, like, yeah. gone to fortune tellers and that kind of thing, which I've always thought was a bit, like, whatever. But it, it was always just a big part of my upbringing, and so I always... Yeah. It's kind of just a reference to that, I guess. See, look at all the things we learn from tattoos. Uh, okay, gentlemen. Um, my worst tattoo is... <laughs> oh, is it real bad? What are we talking? Uh, I have a basically a big black dot on my wrist kind of looks like a <laughs> well let's see it he gave it to himself <laughs> kind of looks like a nut oh it does it looks, it looks like a walnut yeah so i was at a party several years ago and there's a tattoo gun there which is uh, the worst thing i've ever Ooh, i and don't you're recommend like, anybody ever it. being in that situation and um yeah i gave myself a smiley face tattoo oh it was supposed to be a smiley face it was a smiley face with a tongue well, let's out. see it again let's see it again you can't see <laughs> it face. And viewers it's really I, bad <laughs> if you can't see it and then oh, i cool. covered it up hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, it's and me I've i love it i'm not telling you that i don't said. love it i'm telling you it's bad <laughs> it could be a lot worse it could be so much it could be whatever miles oh, worst tattoo is i don't have Our any tattoos. you don't have a single <laughs> tattoo not a single one does he like skin squirrels in his free time what kind of psychopath is like a rock and roll person and doesn't have tattoos me He's a sociopath, isn't he? It's, it's strange that you'd hit the nail on the head with the squirrels right away. Yeah. Oh, man. Who's the worst on tour? Who's the, the worst to be around all the time and share a tour bus with? Who is the messiest, the smelliest? What are we talking? I don't want to throw him under the bus. Probably you got to throw him under that tour bus. Guys, scoopers. Uh -huh. scoopers. Oh, okay. scoopers. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not even scoopers. here, so yeah, throw him, throw him right under the bus. Yeah, we love stinky him. shoes. It's tough out there. You don't get to do laundry that yeah, much. It's, you know, it's tough. So. Yeah. No, I'm not blaming you anybody. Stank I'm just, you know, I'm asking. They stay oh. stanky. You know? Like who snores? Like who's, I don't know, you know? Uh, uh, our, pretty chill. Snore. our sound guy, Kevin, snores a little bit. It's true. Last night I was trying oh, to fall asleep. Oh, he's here. He's like, here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for Podcast Presents. Good night. <laughs> you kicked my dog. Woo! You kicked. Everybody on three. You, you kicked, kicked my dog. dog. You didn't count to three. I didn't count to three. <laughs> on three. One, two. You kicked my dog. You kicked my dog. One, two, three. You kicked my dog. <laughs>